Well, good morning. It's our first time to come together this year. We had a wonderful night last night. We had three churches come together with a wonderful chance to celebrate at the sanctuary there in Funky. We had a couple of hogs cooked up by some good church members there and a good jambalaya and gumbo and we had a candlelight service. We gave away a bunch of food, packaged foods, um, bottled water, cereal, soups, all kind of stuff, canned goods. We gave away, we gave away some clothing. We um, okay, we fed everybody that we could. And then we had the candlelight service. Then we had a huge fireworks show. <laughs> Thank you, Richie Revin, for providing us with a great, great fireworks show there. Uh, we like to support the locals where we can. But you know what? There's a lot of new things going on today with this new year. I've got my coffee. I've kind of finished out the year a little sick, but I've got my coffee going. It's a good way to start the year. Mm. An even better way to start the year, start the year with some new coffee. Um, Brittany Pice. Brittany got me some coffee picked up over there in North Carolina. It's um, called Camp, Camp Coffee Roasters. Camproast.com. Really, really good. Kind of a medium, medium blend. Good stuff. Mm. So there's our good coffee. Now, how about the good word? Now, look, how many of you this year are going to join in with us for the first 45 days of the year? From now until um, February 14th or 14th, 15th, somewhere there. The 14th one I'm going to try and finish. We're going through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John. Chronologically, we're not going to just read Matthew and then start over again with Mark, and because they tell them the same story from different perspectives. We're going to go all the way through chronologically, day by day, through the life of Jesus. And if you have the chance to pick this up, God with us, this is the book that we're working with from, and I'll put it in the comments down there uh, where you can get it and where you can find. It. But also in the comments, I'll put the the sections that we're reading from. Uh, for instance, today we're starting out with with the origin. Um, of, of Jesus Christ, because uh, you know, whenever He appeared in the manger, the incarnation, that was not where Jesus started. Jesus has always been. So we're looking at the origin of, uh, of Jesus Christ, and actually, specifically, we're looking today at John one one, which is one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. We're looking. We're going to stay in there. John one one says, "In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God." That was Jesus Christ. He, when he came down to earth here, he became the incarnate word, but he was always there. He was the word. And I'm going to put it in the comments, but we're looking at, to specifically, we're looking at Mark 1, 1, John uh, chapter 1, verse 1 through 5, verses 9 through 14, and 16 through 18. You don't have to scribble that down. I'll put it in the, the comments for you. But in the beginning was the word. Jesus Christ was always there. He didn't just suddenly appear. He wasn't just something that God said, you know what, I need a son and created a son, and there he appeared. That's not how it works. Jesus Christ is God. That's the way the Trinity works. They were, he, he was in the beginning. He was always there. And the wonderful thing about that means that if he was always there, he's always there now, and he'll always be here with us to come. It's the perpetuity of the gospel. You know, we say we teach the gospel and preach the gospel, but we should always remember that the I think it was Spurgeon that said that the seeds of the gospel were planted in the Garden of Eden because Jesus was always there. The good news, the gospel story was always there. Uh, the opportunity to be able to reconcile between God and man, that, that idea was formed there in the Garden. As soon as man sinned, God already had the plan in place to be able to redeem us again. The gospel, the good news is simply that. It is Jesus Christ came Jesus Christ lived, Jesus Christ was crucified, Jesus Christ died, Jesus Christ was buried, but Jesus Christ resurrected, and thank you, Jesus, you're coming again. Jesus Christ coming again, that's what we celebrate. We serve a risen Savior, He's in the world today. <laughs> I know that He is living whatever men may say. Oh, well, you got to stop me, I'm going to sing the whole song. That's a better song when I woke up with this song. I woke up with Michael Bublé in my, in my head. Though. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Birds in the sky, you know how I feel. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, and I'm feeling good. And I am. You know what? It's time to do something different. It's time just to start. You, you may notice um, Santa's going back to the North Pole. St. Nicholas, he's going back to Turkey over there. Um, but you know what? 
it was time to do something. I love the saying says that, that nothing happens until something happens. What's going to spur you on that? What's the thing that you're going to do? The, the one thing, it can be an outward change. You know, part your hair the other way. I don't know, wear a color you never wear. Put on a hoodie. I've never even owned a hoodie. This is the first time anybody ever seen me in a hoodie. <laughs> do something different today. Now, how about this? How about get into the Word of God? Read the Word of God. Start with John 1. 1. In the beginning was the Word. So how about that? In the beginning of 2024 was what? The Word. In the beginning was the Word. Start this year out reading the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word. What better way to start the new year than in the Word of God, God speaking to you. And remember, in prayer, that is us speaking to God. So start that conversation now, all right? But let me pray for y'all. Father God, I pray blessings in the lives of all my friends in this year to come. Father God, may enter our lives come more opportunities to experience your word and experience good coffee and experience the opportunity to share with others, to build up relationships, to have conversations, Lord God, to be able to spend time with those that we love. Father God, I pray blessings and health upon all within the sound of my voice. Lord God, I pour out upon them, Lord God, immeasurable portions of your love, your mercy, and your grace. Father God, let us be instruments of those as well as we pour into the lives of others. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, look, you know I love you. You know God loves you. Make sure someone out there knows that you love them, all right? Matter of fact, happy birthday, Uncle Tony. <laughs> I love you. I got something for you. You won the prize. <laughs> I know that sounds like it's a little bit off because he's my uncle, but he won the prize as the one to be able to comment most <laughs> over the last month. So there you go. Happy birthday to you, Uncle. Love you. See you soon. Get better. I know you're not feeling well. Look, y'all have a great, wonderful day. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. But look in the comments. Find the, the reading section for today and read along with us. If you need the book, I'm going to put that link as well. All right. Love y'all. Have a great day.